Um, you write anything you can think of, anything. Literally start like, uh, it's, let's say with Java, just start writing something that takes data out of a text file or, or generates random data. That's a great thing that I usually start with. Yeah, I just get, I get in there and find a library. There's always a library in a language, Java, Python, JavaScript, whatever it is. And you can basically write a, a, a data generator, right? So you write a data generator that spits data out to a file. That's the first thing I would do with any language. And then start reading that data in and doing manipulations to it. If you have particular data that you want to look at or a particular domain that you're interested in, like let's say music sales or uh, I don't know, airplane data or something like that, even better. Because then you understand something about the data already. So write that out to files, read it in, start to process it, do things with it, and then take actions on it. Have it, you know, print other stuff out. Yeah, so that, I mean, because really at the end of the day, what's a computer do? Processes data, print stuff out so us humans can see it, right? So that would, that would be my number one piece of advice with any, any language you're learning. Java, Rust, Python, Go, whatever it is. Generate data, spit out some files, like have it exported out to some format, whether it's JSON, YAML, uh, XML, whatever you want. And then read that data in, use some of the parsers to read it in, and then do things with it. So yeah, hope, hope that helps. I feel like I should write a whole blog entry on just like getting started and getting super fluent with a particular programming language. The other side effect of that is if you're parsing data out and then you read it back in and you do various things with it, you can go through a lot of the algorithms that people often give you when you're going through an interview. Because a lot of the interviews, especially for junior positions, the first thing they do is they give you a bunch of stupid algorithm tests like, oh yeah, here, write this test where it's gonna uh, take a string and it's a comma separated string and you need to separate out all that from that one string and turn it into an array and just have each item as an item in the array.